We are live from the backside of Churchill Downs. It is 5-0 Tuesday. It is all about the locals today. Churchill Downs is going to be stopping by to tell us about all the big events that are going to be happening here at the track today, in addition to racing. Our L Bottom is over at the Kentucky Derby Museum checking out a new exhibit where you can actually ride a Kentucky Derby winner. And the Backside Learning Center supports workers here not only this week, but year round. We're going to tell you how one derby owner, one potential derby the owner is stepping up in a really, really big way. And then we're going to catch up with America's most celebrated milliner. She is once again a Kentucky Derby featured miller, Christine. Uh, Christine Moore is going to be stopping by. Show us all the big trends she has here. Great Day Live starts right now. Tuesday and for all the locals that say hey y'all let's get together at the track and have a good time uh, it is gonna be filled with locals here at Churchill Downs coming up later today can you just imagine all the thousands of people packed into the track here kicking off Derby weekend style not only watching the races but getting together and celebrating what has become uh, a fast-growing tradition here at Churchill Downs and for Derby week I'm joined by Tanya Avelin, the Vice President of Communications for Churchill Downs, in what has become our kind of our annual tradition is to have Tanya to have you here on 502 Tuesday. I love it's starting such a with fun you. Day. I love starting with you because when I met you, Claudia, for the first time, I was oh God, I don't was tell them all those stories. Don't, don't tell <laughs> we'll them all those, those stories. We'll save those for later. But right. you, I was from a small town in Kentucky. We were both in college, and you were from Louisville, and so you represented Louisville to me. Oh, you had right. this sort of urban sophistication that that I didn't have, and so I love starting this day with you and talking about Louisville's history and sort right. of all those memories we all have and why we love the city. And now for us, 502 Tuesday is so important at Churchill Downs because it lets us celebrate the community that has made 150 right. years possible for us. And it really, this day really has become one of the most popular days for locals. It's like it's our day. It happened so quickly. Yes. I mean, you just, we kicked it off last year. This is only the second year, but it, it took off so quickly. I feel like it took us a while yeah. to get, catch on to Thurby. People kind of resisted Thurby, but 502 Tuesday, man, people were it's really on. on it right away. And part of it's that $5 general admission oh my because, gosh, yes. you know, we hear we hear the community talk about cost prohibitive things through derby season and this is our opportunity to open those gates and say come one come all, have a great day with us. And what I really love it is that people get dressed up for 502 State as if it is derby day. You will okay. still see great fashion here today. Totally. Yeah, mm -hmm. like people will shop and I knew what is my Tuesday look because I cared more honestly about my Tuesday look. I know, that is and a real for thing. Me, it was like growing up was like Oaks like the big deal for you, like Oaks used to be real mm -hmm. local, right? You're right. Uh -huh. And so for me it was too because it was the day that we could have the cheaper admission and we could come in and it was a big big dress up day yeah absolutely I feel the same way I think people and the great thing is you can still be casual and feel yeah. totally comfortable but people do go all out for 502 state okay I think this is for the first time many locals gonna be stepping into that brand new paddock can I brag on that for a moment because I just saw it for the first time on Saturday <gasps> it's like it is overwhelming in the best possible way because it is so grand that you guys, when you like stand out there and you look up and you keep seeing like another level and another level, it is absolutely amazing. It kind of blew me away. I wasn't mentally prepared. I, you know, I don't know that I was either because you, you see the rendering. Yeah. You see it, you know, grow and evolve the past two years. And then Saturday night was the first time you saw it in practice. And it really made sense it to did. me for the first time mm -hmm. because I was afraid that that grand building would be exclusive, that it would keep people out. But it did just the opposite. It brought people together and it created all of these layers for everyone to gather yeah. and look at those beautiful horses and just be in on the energy at the same time. It was so exciting. And the whole, the whole paddock feel, the horses, as they kind of make their rounds and they're warming up they were so much closer than I thought it was like their red carpet it really right? was like a it red carpet so cool. for them they're strutting around and um, it creates more opportunity for people to be able part to be a part of that moment it before they race. really really special so I think that's one thing is locals walk in and see that for the first time and a big thing has been people taking their pictures like there was mm -hmm. a line of people waiting to kind of take their pictures right in front of the the new paddock that was a thing I didn't expect that to be a no, thing and I didn't either but it's created a perfect photo moment yeah. because just as we had hoped it opens up the, the Twin Spires which is really that iconic piece of architecture that people think of when they think of Churchill Downs and now you see it right away as soon as you come in so um, yeah great photo moment we'll see lots of those on I social bet. media and They're throughout be the tagging week. you like all day and all week long all right the races kick off today what first post is like 1245 yes so I think 1145 is is um, gates open gates open right so yes we uh, let me read through some of these names oh yes uh, so wait. Claudia has the names of the races I didn't commit all these to memory but they're great they're 
they're great because kind of tying into this whole local thing, they're named after local landmarks. If you grew up here, you know. I don't need to explain. Right. Right. Okay, so race number one is the Village Eight Theaters. Okay, which we all know. We about, all know right? what that is. That's a recent uh, memory. race number two, it's Has and Hours. And Paul said that's a famous restaurant here. All right. Uh, race three is our race. This is our race. <laughs> which one the is this? The Bacon's one? Department Bacon's, Store. For sure, Bacon's is because our race. That's where we buy our esprit. <laughs> Guest jeans. Guest jeans. <laughs> What else? Oh, Benetton, you United Benetton. Colors. Benetton, <laughs> and United Colors. Benetton. Uh, race four is the Burger Queen. Race five, the Red Barn. Great memory. Uh, we developed the Red Barn. Uh, race six is the Lentini's Restaurant. Race seven is Ear Ecstasy. We're gonna round out the party on the day, right? Race eight is the Toy Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> if you know that one, then I'm gonna. Uh, and race nine is Jim Porter's Good Time Emporium. R.I.P. Jim oh Porter. Well, and I think that so many of those are back from last year because they were just so popular and yeah. people love them. Um, so we're honoring these memories of the past, but then also today specifically, we are paying tribute to other organizations and companies in Louisville who are also 150 years old, like Churchill Downs. That's hard to do. There aren't many yeah. of them. And so between races, we'll celebrate them. And, you know, there are other great memories that continue through those companies and organizations. Thank you for keeping this 50 Tuesday tradition alive by having you on the Great Day Live set. Backside, I love it. I so just absolutely love here. it. To get your tickets, that five dollar admission is so awesome. Please take advantage of that today. For more information, just go to churchilldowns.com. Well, the Kentucky Derby Museum is where you can celebrate Derby 365 days a year. And they have so many new exhibits to enjoy. Our L Bottom is over there today checking them out. And I understand, Al, there's what one on fashion coming up, and you can actually ride a Kentucky Derby horse. Kind of. Claudia, we are only four days away from Derby 150, and I remember when I came back out here at the Derby Museum when we were only a hundred.